What is going on everybody? I am Nido and if you do not know me, I am a player manager for Imagine Sniping. I also run my own personal channel as you well, as you can probably guess. And on there I upload kind of commentaries, live commentaries, mini tages, montages, all that kind of usual stuff. But I have the honour of presenting you the Imagine Sniping interviews which is an interview series where we're going to be running through all our players, having a little interview, having a little chat. We've got some questions here to un uh, ask them, sorry. And yeah, we're just just kind of get to know everyone. And our first guest is Blight. And Blight, if you want to introduce yourself. Hey, what's up guys? Blight here. <laughs> nice and simple, <laughs> keeping it old school. <laughs> Alright, so let's, no fooling around, let's jump straight in to the questions. So number one, what is your role in Imagine Sniping? My role in Imagine Sniping, I basically founded it alongside Sam, the owner of Imagine Customs. You could say, uh, you know, I'm the leader. I don't really like yeah. that title too much, though. Um, I run things <laughs> alongside with Will, who is one of my uh -huh. friends who came from Myth, like, with me, basically, to start the team. Uh, nice. He is a little bit more like the micromanaging type. I'm more of, like, the large scale, you know, making yeah. sure things go right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. Nito, you're you know you're doing it in here with me, and Nito along with Bind, they kind of take care of like the players, blah blah blah. But yeah, that yeah, we just I look do. after, them. make sure everything's running smooth with the Dropbox, etc. So just keeping it all simple, you know, try and take a little bit of the weight off, you know, the proper managers and like the leaders side of things, keeping it more simple for them. All right, sweet. So jumping into the second question, when did you originate? I.e. like what card and what was like your first kind of clan really? Well my very first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1. I had never played Call of Duty yeah. before that. I was actually more of an RPG nerd. Um, but I, you know my competitive side kind of led me into COD eventually. I uh, am a pretty nice. competitive person but my <laughs> first Call of Duty that I actually started sniping in was Black Ops 2 probably about a month after it came out. For the, uh, That's crazy. I actually went for the Obey Recruitment Challenge and Obviously Same didn't make it, but <laughs> <laughs> I ended nope. up in Myth after the Obey yeah, Recruitment Challenge, which was yeah, well, that's first exactly team. the same as me. Yeah, yeah. Myth. Myth, Myth wasn't my first team. Um, for all of you who didn't know, I've actually been doing this YouTube thing for a crazy long time. This is coming up to my fourth year now, which is a long fucking time, really. So I've always been into that kind of sniping sort of route. You've been doing very this early before, on, haven't you? Yeah, I've been I've been sniping since COD Four, which is kind of hard to believe. Yeah, but, that's um, crazy. I've always I've I've been here a long time, just in the background chilling. Um, haven't been crazy pushing out videos or anything. Just doing it as like a little hobby. Well, not really a little hobby. It's all I fucking do, but doing it as a hobby, <laughs> just shredding. <laughs> you know, trying to get me some clips. You know, I just found it. I've always found it entertaining from the start. It's all, it's always something that I've wanted to do, and you know. I've stuck with it, so, but yeah, I, I still think that's crazy that you only snipe, started sniping in freaking Black Ops 2. Yeah, it was like December. It's crazy. Yeah, Come man, a long way, honestly, I'm pretty kind of proud of myself, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. lie. You should be proud of yourself, man. it's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so the next question is, what is your most favourite card? What's your favourite card, card uh, ever? I think everyone's favourite Call of Duty is the first one they've played, so Black Ops 1 for sure. Yeah, Black Ops 1. Yeah, it's tough for me, man, because... I've played like all of them, like throughout all the sniping and shit like that, and I still I think Black Ops 2 is my favourite COD. Obviously, you know pre patch, Black Ops 2. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but de definitely, definitely Black Ops 2 is my favourite COD. I just don't know why. There's just something about it which it just seems everything seemed seemed it used to be really really good. Yeah, it's great. I I love yeah, the, the game. game's really good for sure. But I think you know just everyone's favourite COD is generally the first oh, one yeah, they played, sure. and I'm kind of holding true to that theme. But, I definitely agree with what you're saying. Okay, so n the next question is, what is your favorite clip that you've ever hit? My favorite clip that I've ever hit, it's kind of almost tied, but I would say my favorite clip was, um, it was during the phase RC. It was for the top 20 video. It was on overflow. Yeah. Um, it was a five on screen, all singles with the ballista that turned into a six man oh and God. the sixth kill was just this random schmang banger through a flashbang, like off into the oh, distance, and yeah. I actually get the sixth guy. But five on screen, that's all crazy. singles with the ballista is pretty damn hard to do. I've done it a few yeah, times. Yeah, that's now. crazy. That's super quick. Um, I've never done that. 
My other favorite Never would be uh, on standoff when I run into a wow. room, I shoot with the DSR and randomly get a triple. <laughs> and nice. I didn't know anybody <laughs> else was in the room, but I switched the ballista in 360 and just kind of like go into the motion of shooting. And there's somebody there, like okay, and I get the single for the swap. If you haven't seen that clip, guys, it is a crazy clip. It's all on the hard point as well, which just makes it that much better. <laughs> so, I that's ju uh, just how you hit that clip. When I saw that, I was literally like, "You motherfucker!" Like, I fuck think you that might up. be actually the clip that got me into the top 100 for the phase RC because yeah. it was just you know obvious that I was trying to be a little bit more creative with the clips that I was hitting. Yeah, for not. sure. I actually hit a well, lot no, of my I best think... clips for that. RC. It's kind of weird. That's exactly the same for me. I think every single player who went for the phase RC had that one crazy ass clip which they hit. I hit. You know, for example, Saw Lee, he hit that rolling quad headshot feed with the ballista and. No, not the ballista. The ballistic knife and the um, XPR, yeah, which was just that was incredible. Ridiculous. That was crazy. I hit. And then. I don't even. I hit know, a quad. I hit that six man with yeah. five on screen. I hit that oh, triple God. to single. That was a swap. I hit a bunch <laughs> of really good stuff. You hit crazy shit. Like, pause, hit that triple headshot collab. Oh my god, I hit the I'm switch, grind. The switch quad headshot feed. You know, everyone really, like, some people who you've never even seen. You, like, for example, you know, uh, Curtis, Curtis MV. Yeah. Him, he literally came out of the woodwork from nowhere, and look where mm -hmm. he is now, you know. For some, some people really, yeah. like, excelled for that, from that. He was an icon. It's crazy. Then, uh, yeah. Even, uh, but yeah. Okay, the next question is who inspired you to play um the very first montage i ever saw was actually heaven and hell one by phase agony well phase agony at the time but <laughs> by the time i saw it he was in obey <laughs> and i didn't even know why he got kicked out of obey or i didn't even know why he got kicked out of phase or anything but that montage definitely yeah. made me want to get into sniping yeah. at youtube because it was just like what the hell and it wasn't even like the standards were very good for it at the time that i watched it but it was still just uh -huh. like it was so cool to watch you know i wanted to create something like that that yeah, i would be sure. proud of and yeah yeah that's what you've done man <laughs> no, that's yeah. awesome that's really good <laughs> well it's true you know but i think definitely the first montage that you ever watch really does stick out and like it makes you like go for like shit man i want to do this i want to yeah. be able to do that i want to be able to hit clips like that one day i am going to be able to make a video of that quality awesome. and you know a lot of people a lot of people now so many people more of like so many more people sorry have come into the community and have freaking made their you know mark on it it's just crazy <laughs> you know like pomage for example he hasn't been doing this all that long but my god he's made his mark on the community look at now look at his personal channel and stuff like that you know, it's just crazy, especially like from being in the kind of like the community for so long. I just see like these random people just spring up out of nowhere, and their freaking channels just blow up. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Wajj being know. a prime example. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question is: Can you remember the first montage you watched? Which you just answered that it was Heaven, Heaven and Hell, wouldn't it? Version one. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay simple next question is your favorite player my favorite, favorite player, player is yes. phase crafted i try yeah. my best to base my gameplay off of his shot or rather base my shot off of his shot but yeah he is just so goddamn clean <laughs> i don't know how he does yeah, it yeah he's so accurate it's ridiculous but yeah he's... and he maintains a good kd and plays objectively he's just all around the most respectable player in my opinion and I strive to be like him each time I play yeah but yeah <laughs> I have some practice nah, he <laughs> he is you know one of those players that does somehow he manages to maintain be really really consistent like all the way through like all the way through the cods he's been like super consistent mm -hmm. especially Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 we haven't seen that much stuff from him from Black Ops 2 but you know his gameplays that he posts on his channel he is super consistent with his shot, with his, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I admire those people who also play objectively as well as, you know, still getting clips at the same time because it's so difficult to do that. <laughs> it just makes it that much better. All right, similar question. Um, what is your favorite, who is your favorite editor, not what is your favorite, My favorite editor? editor? Who is your favorite editor at the moment? Um, I would go with... Probably Arsolf, even though he isn't too incredibly active and he just does PC edits. 
our yeah. song is in myth at the time at the moment but he doesn't really do episodes because he's strictly yeah. uh pc but Ansel's really creative our stall is really technical uh -huh. with his stuff and obviously really an innovator with some of the effects he does but uh raspy yeah. who did my first montage dharma he would be my favorite editor just because he's you know what i would consider my best friend in the youtube and call of duty community and yeah basically sure. like my personal editor you could say yeah yeah he is in me but yeah i mean there's a lot of people at the moment who have just brought out some crazy stuff you know <laughs> did you like um, 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 like Nordic, for example, he brings out some crazy yeah. shit. I remember he talking to Nordic when he was in Myth, and yeah. I had no idea who the guy was. Out of nowhere, he's like Obey, Bow and Sore, and yeah, incredible. And saw, progress so quickly. He'll be phased soon. He'll definitely be phased. I keep telling him, it's like, dude, you're going to be phased soon. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, no. It's like, you're getting fucking phased. Yeah. But yeah, you know, so many people are creative and stuff like that. Like Arzol, for example, he's so creative and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's just crazy you know a lot of his stuff reminds me of like the Katha kind of era and stuff like that yeah that's it's really similar actually uh Katha really would be is our souls main inspiration for most of the yeah, sure. yeah all right and the last question is what are your expectations for ghosts my expectations for ghosts um i think yeah. It's going to be a good thing because the sniping looks pretty damn hard and I really like that they changed the feed because maybe it'll be a little bit more about gun skill which is obviously a great direction for the community to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, at the same time, you know, it does look harder. That means the community will be a little bit less watered down which is always a great thing well, by the end of the Call of Duty. They separate the men from the boys, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what Black Ops 2 which is, is what you at want. the beginning. You know, people just stayed on Modern yeah. Warfare 3, but slowly they moved to Black Ops 2. Now yeah. they're back on Modern Warfare 3 because of this patch stuff, but, you know, <laughs> things happen. Bondi, if you're watching this, patch it back, please. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your back, Yeah, Bondi. but no, I completely... <laughs> I completely agree with you with the idea of the kill feed maybe not being such a main element during clips and focusing on gun skill. That would be wonderful. It's really going to change it. And montages are going to change so much. It's kind of going to take a battlefield kind of swing to the... Yeah. It's going to take a battlefield swing to things. Definitely, I agree. Because battlefield's got the kill feed up in the top right-hand corner and people don't even pay attention to that. They focus purely on the shots and, you know, how people are getting on with the gun and... You know, the yeah. attachments that they use, the different sites, and I think, you know, especially with Battlefield, you have the bullet drop and stuff like that. People can really kind of appreciate the skill much more, what, like, compared to COD, I think. You know, anyone can pick up a sniper, go into private match, you know, play for a few days and then think, right, you mm -hmm. know, I can try and maintain the same sort of skill as what it takes to be able to get clips. And, you know, before they know it, they're on YouTube putting out sick videos. Yeah. You know, when it actually takes a little bit of thought process to doing it, maybe it will be a bit, you know, constricted. Maybe the community will half, who knows, you know. You don't really know what's going to... Well, the future of gaming is going to hold, man. It could be crazy. And, you know, obviously it's still in, you know, production at the moment. So who knows what they're going to do. But guys, this has been episode number one of Imagine Interviews. We have had Blight on. He's been a great guest. Thank you for joining us, Blight. No problem. And do you have anything else to add? Um, a little side note about, um, you know, a lot of people come to, uh, the leaders and the managers about recruitment and, you know, just players uh -huh. in general, but recruitment, I think, you know, you get a lot of messages saying, you know, how can I join? How can I be recruited? Can I try out? Obviously there's no tryouts, but I would say for the, you, yeah. <laughs> for you, if you want to be recruited by like, particularly me, the best way would be to, um, Make an unlisted video of basically every clip you've ever hit in Black Ops 2, so I can see how consistent you are. You know, I don't really necessarily want to see a best of. Put your best of at the beginning, and then you know, even if it's just a quad feed or a triple headshot, because it just shows how active yeah. you are. Just an unlisted video of all of your raw clips, and just send it to me in a PM. And if you say what it is, you know, it's a you know a video of your raw clips. I'm probably gonna watch it because. Yeah. You know, I actually care. <laughs> I'm not just going to ignore Yeah, exactly. You. Um, but yeah, that would be the best way to be recruited by me, personally. That's just yeah, well, that's also, in. you know, 
you can't just be like, oh, can I get recruited? You need yeah. to prove yourself almost, you know. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for good, consistent players who are active. You know, you have your um, almost like a personality based on your own personal YouTube channel. You know, we need to kind of get a feel for you as kind of like how you're going to be within the clan, if you're going to function with it, yeah. how you're going to get on, if you're going to be pumping out episodes, if you take more of the commentary route, you know, we need to get a feel for kind of what player you are. If you're consistent and you're hitting good clips and stuff like that, we'll definitely, you know, we'll bite your hand off at the chance. But I think that definitely needed to be addressed, you know. Definitely. But I think, you know, if you, if you want to, you know, hit us up, hit us up on the personal YouTube, hit me up on my... Hit me up on my YouTube or whatever. Hit Blight up. You know we're all gonna, you know, take a look into it if you're serious about joining and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this has been episode number one of Imagine Interviews. I hope you all enjoyed it. Something slightly, a slightly different twist, to, uh, a slightly different twist um, to our usual episode post. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave some feedback. I'll be sure to. You know, read through all the comments, respond to the ones I can, and I will see you on the next episode. And Blight, if you just want to sign off, that'd be great. You guys have a great one.